Creepy crafters, how nice of you to fly by. Today's activity is going to drive you absolutely batty. Don't worry if you have trouble with it, you can always just wing it. <laughs> Let's get started. For today's activity, you will need to download and print the template available at canscare.com. You will want to pre-cut your bat template before you start. We are going to follow the template and cut out some bat shapes. You can trace your template on your felt, or you can pin it in place and carefully cut around it. Make as many bats as you'd like. Groups of three or seven make excellent lengths. Now get your ribbon. Cut your ribbon into lengths of six inches or 15 centimeters. You will need the same number of pieces of ribbon as you have bats, plus one more. Now, using the tips of the scissors or a blunt darning needle, thread the ribbon from front to the back through the hole in one of the wings. Then, tie the ribbon into a knot. The knot should be big enough that you cannot pull it back through the hole. Take another bat and pull the same ribbon through the hole in its wing and tie a knot as you did before. Now you're getting the hang of it. <laughs> Continue to thread your bats together until you have a garland as long as you like, or you run out of bats. At the ends of your garland, thread one last ribbon through, leaving two loose ends with no bats attached to hang your garland. You can add some twinkly lights to your garland for an extra spooktacular touch to wow your friends and family. Don't forget to post photos of your creepy creation online with the hashtag FrightfulFun2020 for a chance to win an assortment of ghoulish goodies. Oh, Guano, look at the time! That's all we have for today, but thanks for hanging around mm. well come back tomorrow for another delightfully devilish crap until then happy haunting <laughs>